Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to be going through using the LSP High Key Blast um, Photoshop Actions. This image is by Anna Brandt. High Key Blast is really for those backlit, powerful, dynamic white images, but in this image here, you can see we're only using one light, uh, one beautiful big diffuser here for the background. I'm just cropping it in there to get rid of any distractions. So what if you want to really whiten up an image like this? One of the more traditional ways uh, manually would be create a levels layer, grab the white dropper and sample a white area of the image. But you can see that by doing that, we're blowing out the skin and losing some detail completely. So what you want to do is use um, some actions and some tailored um, steps that will really help actually create a white image. If at any point I'm doing anything that you're unsure of, please do watch video number one where I go through every tiny detail of these actions, including how to get them in, how to show them in coloured mode, and what each and every section and action does. So I'm just going to go ahead, assuming um, you know how the LSP actions work, or you've watched video number one. So you can see here, just by playing here, the glossy high key workflow layers, it set up this whole layer um, base here with loads of different layers to play with. The first four layers here are white layer masks, meaning they affect your whole image. So you can play with these, turning them on or off. Ooh, get my layers back. If at any point you lose your layers, you can come up here to window and hit layers and drag them back in when needed. So you can turn these actions on or off, um, or you can slide the opacity to see exactly what they need to do. Now we don't need to clear the haze on this image because there is no background haze coming. But I'm actually going to leave it on and just paint this off the subject a little bit using a black brush. Remove colour cast. Um, it's really very helpful as well because it takes any colour cast out of your white. Next up we're into the brushes. So I'm just going to grab a white, ooh, ginormous white brush and I'm just going to add a little bit of this glow over and that is going to add, exactly as it says on the tin, a glow over your image. Rescuing the highlights, this is good if you've got any areas that are a little bit blown out that you want to rescue that detail on. And rescuing the shadows will darken any shadows down that you wish to retain. Painting away the greys, we don't really have any greys at the moment on this background, although there are a few up here in the corner, so I'm just going to go over those a little bit, just to start get that background whitening in. And then we have a whitened paint here, so I'm just dabbing that around. Now you'll notice I'm using a very, very large soft brush here and a little bit of that is going over onto the subject, which we don't want. So I'm going to minimise the brush down and use a black brush just to take this off the subject here. For a detailed subject selection, you can actually, if you're on Creative Cloud, hit W and select subject or come up onto select and choose subject. Make sure you're on your background layer or it won't work. And that will actually give you quite a detailed cutout of your subject. If you want to mask um, a little further, you can use this kind of cutout. So I'm just using that on the subject just to remove this whitening um, brush that I've popped over here. Because that way we won't get this kind of grey outline around the subject. If at any point you want to check your outlines as you go, you can play the checker action down here. And what this does, it creates this um, very, very dark version of your image so you can see if there are any areas that may look a little dark on print. And I can see there, there is a little bit here. So what I'm going to do is grab my white brush and I'm just going to bring this in around there just a little bit. Soften that down. And that will literally just help um, blend that a little further. I can also see there's some areas up here. I'm on the whiten layer right now and it's just this is just really helping me to kind of blend these areas as we go because sometimes if your monitor's not calibrated or if you just want a second pair of eyes on that is this action for you. So we're just going to whiten these areas up just a little bit there and then turn the checker off. So you can see here now we have this beautiful serene white background already and that's just from the glossy high key there so we just turn that off and on it's given us that lovely beautiful high key look so next up to finish this i'm going to come down to the paint brushes you have brighten and lift um, lighten and whiten the background i don't know if i really need to go any whiter than the background already is but i am going to click on the paint away gray action here 
and just use that dotted around these areas just to take away any slight lingering grey toning. Next up for the skin, um, this is not a full skin retouching set. Um, for those who are going to want Maternity and Femme, the Studio Portrait Vogue, um, the Signature Newborn, depending on what you're shooting. But the, I have included a couple of skin actions in here. So I've applied the lovely soft skin here and I'm just painting this on and that gives a real lovely portrait kind of foundation to the skin there. Some really glowing smooth, which you want with high key. You want that powerful, dynamic, um, impactful image. So I'm just brushing that softness over. I'm then going to play the sharpen up details and I'm just going to pop this clicking a little bit over the eye and the details of the image there just to really pop that sharpness out. Beautiful, beautiful image by Anna Brandt here. I'm also going to pop this sharpen over the dress because you can see some real details there that we're going to want to bring out and make this image pop. Into the finishing touches we have um, add a fill light, bring up the lights. Adding a fill light is cool because um, you can literally drag this light where you want it. So the original light was over here. I'm going to put that just there and hit OK. And that's just going to play out and add that fill light coming over the image. We can paint that off the subject just a little bit. We also have some extra light here that we could bring in. We don't want to go too bright, but it literally does add that lighting in. Really, really pretty. And I'm going to add a punchy contrast, but then I'm also going to bring the opacity down on this one just a little bit. And that's going to bring some details back into any shadows that we've lost there. I'm just taking this off the face just a touch and we're done. So let's see our before and after of this image. Before. And you can see the image was shot on a white background, but because the background was lit, you have this kind of dark white look to it. And after. Boom, and we're done. Beautiful, beautiful glowing image. Just play that lift dark shadow, so I'm just going to use this just to bring up a little detail in the hair and any other dark shadows there. But because these layers are created um, for you as actual layers, not independently of your background here, it means that you can carry on and you can um, you can play with these layers, anything that has been created. You can play through and just keep tweaking until you're happy, turn them on or off. I'm just taking these off the face just a little bit, just because um, we have some a little bit of blowout there. And there we go. Beautiful. Absolutely perfect. So here we have before and here we have after. And that's using the LSP High Key Blast. So these are for those really bright, punchy whites, the contrasty punchy glowing beautiful whites if you want calmer um, more sweet and whimsical whites please do use the white linen photoshop actions these are for that really powerful impactful white images and if at any point you're not sure what i'm doing here please do watch video tutorial number one where i go through everything in detail and i'm lauren thanks for watching